Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about the point of intersection of two lines. Now when I say point of intersection, what I'm really asking is, at what point do these two lines cross? I'm using a few hockey sticks to help me with my illustration. The first option is that our lines never cross. Now this happens when our lines are always equally apart from one another. That means that our lines are parallel. The second option is that our lines cross at exactly one point. This could happen at any point along our lines. We could have a special case where our lines are perpendicular to one another. That's where our lines meet at 90 degrees. Or it could just be at some other point. The third option is that our lines always cross. Now this happens when we have the exact same line. So those are our three options. Never, at one point, and always. Let's just get this down on paper here. So our first option again was our lines never cross. And this happens when our lines are parallel. And remember parallel just means that we have the same slope. Now just as an example here we have y is equal to 1 half x plus 1 and y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. Now my slope in each case is 1 half. Slope is always the number in front of x. So my m is 1 half, so that means I want to go up 1 and over 2 from each point. To graph my blue one, I'm going to put a dot at y equals 1. That's my y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is always just the last number when I'm in y equals mx plus b form. I want to move up 1 and over 2. And to make my line a little more precise, I can go up 1 more and go over 2. And draw ourselves a line at this point through all these points. And my second example here, I'm at negative 3, so 1, 2, th one, two 3. Draw a dot on the y-axis, my y-intercept is negative 3, move up 1, over 2, move up 1, over 2. And draw ourselves a line through all of these points. And just to show that our lines continue in each direction, just going to put some arrows there. So we have two parallel lines that are never going to cross. Second option, the lines cross at one point. And remember because they're straight lines, they can never cross at more than one point. One point is the most that can happen. Um, this is the most common option. So I have y is equal to 3x minus 1. So I'll draw my, um, I'll draw my first point on my y axis at negative 1. And my slope here is 3, which is the same thing as 3 over 1. So up 3, right 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. And draw a line. one, I have a dot at 2, there we go. and I want to move up 1 and over 4. Up 1, over 4, and draw a line through these. And just as we did last time, draw arrows to show that our line continues. And this point right here is where my two lines cross. There's my point of intersection. And the third option is where our lines cross at every point. This indicates that our lines are the same. So we have our blue line, which is x plus 2. So in this case, my slope is 1. If there's no number in front, it's understood to be a 1, which is the same thing as 1 over 1. Go up 1 and over 1. Draw a dot at y equals 2. 
Move up one, move over one, and I'll just do this one more point here. minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Now, remember I can't tell anything about my line or my slope until it's in y equals mx plus b form. So what I'm going to do with this is just say negative 2y is equal to negative 2x minus 4, moving everything to the other side of my equation. Um, I'll just copy this up here. So negative 2y equals negative 2x minus 4. I want to have a positive 1 in front of my y here, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. And that gives me y is equal to, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1, so 1x. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 gives me plus 2, which is the same thing I have here. So if I were to graph this, I would again put a dot at, um, at 2. shifted before. Um, put a dot at 2, move up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So I have the exact same line as what I had before. If the lines cross at one point, this is the only point or coordinate that is common to both lines. So again, because they're straight lines, because I have straight lines or straight hockey sticks, the lines never turn around. I can never have them crossing at a second point. One point is the is the most that can happen. I guess unless there's crossing at every point when they have the same line. But if they do cross at one point, one is the most that can happen. I can't have two or three. Um, this point, so remember we call our points by an x value and a y value, is called the point of intersection. Point of intersection. And we can find this point by graphing both the lines and reading the coordinates from the graph. So when we do this, it's really important that we have our lines very precise. Find the point of intersection of y equals 2x minus 2, and y is equal to x plus 1. In the first case, our slope is 2, which is the same thing as 2 over 1, and our y-intercept is negative 2. And over here, our slope is 1, which is the same thing as 1 over 1 and our y-intercept is 1. So to graph my green line, I'm going to put a dot at negative 2, at my b, negative 2 down here. I'm going to move up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And to make this a little more precise, I'll do another point. So up 2 over 1, and one third time, or third time. Draw my line. my y-intercept at 1, and I want to go up 1 and over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. Intersection. Um, I want to look at where these two lines cross, which is right here. Point of intersection. And just reading these off, 1, 2, 3 is my x coordinate. And my y coordinate, 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, just to figure them out, graph the two and uh, Read it off, read the information off of your page. Have a great day, folks.